Back out there for the Roughnecks. And Mazur throws it away looking for Rasmussen. Rasmussen looking a little flat out of the gate. I think he could have bit on that first deep shot on this, this next one, just misses the catch. Bolton looking for Rankin, rising up! Really gave them a boost on their O-line. Brandon Muffin Malachek back in the place he went to school. Grew up here in Madison. Great job there by Carnegie to stop the continue pass there. That would have been a goal. Sneaking the assist through, Malachek downfield. Karlinski hits the veteran Mike Caldwell. And there's Mark Burton, who takes a chance. Nick Stewart bids just shy of the end zone. He hauls it in. Stewart throwing through the contact to his old college team. Someone asked Nick Stewart this morning, how you feeling? He said, well, I haven't been feeling good for a while, so about the same. Another chance for Cassidy Rasmussen, and that was a Those shots throughout the game, but Dallas has made their fair share of mistakes. Fast-paced at the start. Leaping grab by Burton, and into the end zone for Raider. Karlinski. Zane Rankin, wide open on the under, looking for Stewart. Emmons nearby, Stewart's got it. So, I mean, this is exactly what we talked Marshall downfield. It's Snell on Gibson again. Sefton on Kittredge, and Sefton steals the pass, poaching into the throwing lane. Swings it to Snell. So far, the only breaks have been back-to-back -back breaks from Seattle to start. Looking for a third, not even to the midway point of the opening quarter. Harkness to Sefton. Good job by Gibson on the mark, preventing the throw, because Clark was open on the far side of the field. They come back to the near side. Timeout called by Seattle in the red zone as they look. Montague, lefty backhand to the dump up the line. O'Brien to Stewart. He never missed a practice. Played every game during the regular season except one. He really bought in to be a cog in the Dallas dominance. It's a fun cog to be. Seattle's offense almost turned it over, but Chris Larber could not get there as Mark Burton. Goals have been scored in just over seven minutes. Bow with a step. Mickel takes a shot. Does it have enough float? Kittredge bids and scores. Guy? Yes, he is. And he doesn't pause that for a moment. Rankin can't get there, and Raiders overthrow the first turnover for the Cascades. He's an interesting guy. Even when Bo was captaining Revolver, he still wouldn't warm up with the team. He always had his own routine. He would wear sweatpants and no shirt. He'd be walking around with one sandal on. You're saying, wait, this guy's the captain? The Dallas D-line looking for its first break. Chris Larberg's available. Matt Rader wasn't available. Burton became the primary cutter. Rasmussen looking for Mickel. Got it. Karlinski, crossfield Scuba. He had two targets. Caldwell takes charge to Stewart. Burton. Uh-oh. Stewart on the move. Yes, sir! They know they have the talent. They know they can do their job. Maybe pick a simple adjustment to make. Keep bringing the energy. It has to come. Oh, that was a dropped puck. Well, we see a 21st goal in the opening quarter. Mickle to Smith. Bolton gets it to Montague. Montague gets the backhand off. Stewart in the area, Emmons in the area, and it's Mickle who skies for the backhand with his right foot. Stall count rising. Montague just barely gets rid of it. No, he didn't. Montague is stalled out, and Dallas takes possession, looking for the tie. And it was tipped off the Much more variability in the results of the throws. Karlinski looking for Raider. Matt Raider turns on the Jets. Mark. Mickle taking a chance. Kittredge gets there. Apparently that works. Seattle already across midfield. Oh, tremendous bid. That was Dylan Larberg. 
That's the type of play that can win you a title. That's his third D of the opening half. And Freechild wants him. Off the hands, Larberg stays with it. Alice is prone to some lulls. These next three minutes is really going to set the stage for a second half. Burton pressured, stalled. Burton says no way the referee has made the call. I kind of agree. That was a quick seven. John Thibodeau, Daniel Wong, Jason Weddle, Kai Hudak, the four officials for the championship game. Free child, Emmons. You can't always get a block, but if you can force a team out of their A option. And just like that, Free Child intercepts the scuba. You can see the body language of Montague. He had a lot of space in front of him, but no one was cutting there. The Seattle team is tired, and these they haven't been able to find the offensive rhythm to stay rested throughout the second quarter. Roughneck sideline made it clear to everybody they have no timeouts. Laurie takes the shot. O'Brien can't get there. Bennett. Look at that throw. Seattle needs to figure out a way to start having fun. This could be an opportunity. D.Y. Chan versus Dylan Freechild. Oh, my goodness. 27-21 the next time Dallas touches the disc. You feel like they've got a little bit of a chance. Rankin rifles it. He's got Raider and Carnegie. And it's Raider who comes down with the disc. Yikes. Carnegie just barely held that pivot foot. Lynn looking beyond Mickle for Clark. Donnie Clark. He's back. Gibson, Malachek, Kittredge, Marshall, Rasmussen, and Mickle. Bo taken off. Mickle with a gorgeous put. So he tacks on another goal. Really good defense by Jake Anderson downfield. Raider wanted to go deep, and Anderson just would not give him an angle to make the cut. Burton's going deep. Rankin looking his way. Burton bids and scores. Well, that's nice. If the Cascades could get a break or two, they'd be within striking distance here. Looking for Kittredge again, Jesse Bolton trailing. Kittredge read it well. It's a nice day for ultimate here in Madison. Really, you couldn't ask for much better playing conditions as a competitor. Well, it's Gibson going deep. He's all alone. He's got the I think that's what happened, so a 10-yard penalty for him. That's a break for the Roughnecks, and that might break. And the Dallas Roughnecks in their very first season are champions of the AUDL. Top to bottom, it was a successful season. They went undefeated. They had games without their superstars and the Larbergs, Marshall, Slack, Matt Jackson stepped up. They made it through unscathed, and even when they faced their biggest deficit all year long in the first quarter, you knew it was a storm that was...